one in previous uh, problem we discussed from 4.1 exercise. Now we are discussing ninth problem from 4.1 exercise, which is very very really important. Very simple. We can do it in now. Two minutes. See here in a class with three students sitting in each bench. One student will be left. In a class, three students sit in each bench. One student will be left. Here we don't know how many students are there in our class. Even you don't know how many benches are in there. In our class. So, okay, let me take number of students. Bx. Number of students. Say some yes. A number of pages is one. It is very tricky question. Nothing is there. See here. In a class, if three students sit in each bench, three students. Sit in each bench, that means three times two y, right? One student will be left, that means, can I take x minus one is equal to three y? Very simple. When we subtract one from x, that means we have only x minus one student. That must be equal to 3 times how many students are sitting in y benches. Am I clear on that? So from this, this is my y. Therefore, x is equal to 3y plus 1. This is my positive case. From this, I train a linear equation. x is equal to 3y plus 1. This is my positive case. Now coming to the second issue. If four students sit in each bench, how many benches are there? Y bench. So four times y. All students are sitting in y bench. Total how many students are there here? Four y students. If four students sit in each bench, one bench will be left. One bench will be left. That means y minus one benches. We take y minus one benches, multiply with the four, then students are yes. This is the technique. See here. The four students sit in each bench, one bench will be left. That means we have to say, subtract y minus. That will be multiplied with the four. Then students is equal to x. Then this is the equation. This is my second equation. This is my first equation. Here and here x is common. That means left hand sides are equal in these two will be pair of linear equations. Okay. Then 3y plus 1 is equal to 4 times y minus 1. 3y plus 1 is equal to 4y minus 4 by uh, transposing variables one side and trans transcends one side. 1 plus 4 is equal to 4y minus 3 because we get 3y by transposing from left to right 4y Then y 1 plus 4 5 is equal to 4 minus 4y minus 3y is nothing but 5. Y is nothing but what? Number of benches. In that class, we have 5 benches. Now I will find the x from y. Using y, I will find x. See here I will take the first equation, 
my x is equals to 3y plus 1. I know my y value. I will substitute in the first equation. We will get the number of students. Same here. So x is equal to 3 times 5 plus 1. 15 plus 1. That is equals to 16. 3 by the 15, 15 plus 1, 16. Therefore, number of students are 16. We will check it out. How many benches are there? 5 benches. I would like to write it down. Okay? The first statement says that if, if 3 students are sitting in each bench, one bench was there. Right? Now, one student will be here. There are three students in this bench, and 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 three students in, the, in this bench. One student left. See here. Three fives are between. One student left. Suppose, if four students are sitting in each bench, one bench will be there. That is the question. I will take yeah. Total 16 students keep in mind. This is my first bench, this is my second bench, this is my third bench, this is fourth bench and fifth bench. How many students are sitting in each bench? Four and four and four and four. Four, four, yeah. See, year 4, year 4 and year 4 and year 4. So what does it? One thing. Okay? 